so hello hello everyone and welcome back to grace nicole miss astrology and tarot we are back with an intuitive check-in i don't know what is going on i mean i'm laying here in bed because i got work at 10 30 it's 7 30 and i haven't slept so that spirit is pinging me to this something must be going on as far as like divine windows closing because it's been having me do so many guided messages lately there's got to be some kind of some kind of window closing before another lesson learning cycle begins right for those who missed the window and didn't catch the lessons so um aries i tuned into your energy and i saw a figure shoveling away like loads of diamonds just shoveling away diamonds and they looked very somber very down and out shoveling away these diamonds all these diamonds shoveling them out the way and i couldn't help but feel like aries there's some kind of situation that you felt was really valuable at one point and um it's no longer holding the same value if any value at all like it's something that you probably prioritized or put above everything else at one point only to realize it's not what you thought it was it's not as valuable as you think it is um or thought it was Taurus I'm seeing gophers I'm seeing gophers for you and uh, I'm getting this vibe of almost like where there's a will there's a way like there's always a path there's always a path if you can't go through something or around something maybe the best bet is to go under the radar okay and let the path be under the radar just know that if you're gonna do it under the radar truly keep your head down Keep your head down. Otherwise, people might try and thwart you or stop you. Like, just go to where you need to go and do what you need to do. And do it under the radar. Like, no one needs to know your business. No one needs to know what you're doing. It's none of their fucking business. Okay? You know what you're doing and you know why you're doing it. And that's all that matters. Gemini. For you. I'm seeing light. And... Is it a sword? No. It's that's a dagger. So I'm seeing light like a sun and a dagger. And I'm feeling like for your authentic light to shine, you might need to sacrifice someone or something. Not fucking literally for crying out loud. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm not asking you to put anybody on some sacrificial altar or some shit. But there may be a connection that you have um, that needs to be sacrificed. That you need to let it go. For your authentic path to really take off in the right direction. And I am seeing the visual of blood, so it may be someone in the family, someone that you're blood related to, or someone that you consider 
No, I'm definitely hearing blood relation. Even if it's just temporarily, but there's someone that you need to let go of that shares this, that, well, I'm hearing their blood runs through your veins. You may have to temporarily let go of a youth. The fuck, Jim? All cryptic and shit. Someone younger than you? If you have children, you may need to let your child go their own way and not let them be so dependent on you. Or you might need to step away from your child for a temporary amount of time to get your shit together. doesn't have to be a child it's just blood related but i heard they share your blood so it's it's either they're they're a child of yours dealing with a youth a child of yours or someone that you're directly related to okay you guys have the same kind of blood flowing through your veins all right anyway moving forward cancer cancer i just i saw like a bowling alley and someone bowled a strike someone bowled a strike whatever you just did recently I think you fucking nailed it I think you fucking were spot on fucking called it and or took such an action that you're setting yourself up for the win. It was a perfect bowl. You know what I mean? Like you you got the strike. And I'm seeing the I'm seeing the pins like fly around in in the back of the of the lane. So I mean like you didn't just barely knock them all over like you fucking knocked them all out so whatever you did fucking knock out knock out on that you were on point for leo i'm seeing these light purple wildflowers and it feels like spring. Which is not surprising to me because yesterday or late last night, which I might have been super early this morning. I don't fucking know, guys. I work third shift. I don't know what fucking day of the week it is. Um, <laughs> but I, th- I remember Leo's reading because Leo, the intuitive check-in that I did, I kept seeing this meadow. And I think, Leo, with this close-up of the the wildflowers, these little light purple wildflowers, I feel like you're taking the time to stop and smell the beauty around you, right? Taking time to acknowledge on this journey that you're on the beauty that's right underneath your feet, right underneath your nose, you know? You're taking the time to admire it, which... I really like that energy, and I think you are getting these little clarifying nudges from spirit that you're on the right track, and I think you're acknowledging those with gratitude. Okay. Virgo. Virgo. I'm seeing an anvil. Like a blacksmith's anvil. It's almost like seeing Hephaestus. Creating. Some type of item. Some magical item to help you along your path. Whatever it is. That you need. A miracle level of help with. 
the divine is creating a tool. Okay, the divine is creating a tool that essentially holds the essence of magic, right? Because Hephaestus is the creator of Zeus's lightning bolts and the creator of, you know, uh, Venus's belt. You know, like, some type of magical tool. Now, the tool doesn't have to be a physical item. It can be. But it's something in your your own divine toolbox right now that is that's coming in for you to help you for libra libra i'm i'm hearing and sensing a glimmer of hope a glimmer of hope and whatever that is because it's like a it's like a ray of light breaking through the fog breaking through the clouds or the smoke like because that's what it looks like but it looks like a ray of light shining through the the clouds of smoke focus on the light all right focus on the light and where the light is coming from because that's that's a window that's a daybreak window right it's not clouded or smoked over it's clear there that's how the light's getting through so focus on that don't focus on the rest of the cloudy stuff or the smoke and mirror stuff like just focus on that that window of truth that window of light coming through focus on that and let that light guide you to where you need to be because that's where it's clear Scorpio. Scorpio. I'm seeing some... <laughs> I'm seeing some dungeon shit. And I don't know if it's like prisoner dungeon or some like BDSM dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> with your energy. I don't know which is which with you. Um, but I'm seeing definitely some type of dungeon-esque room with restraints and more restraints. It looks like a room filled with restraints. I'm not seeing any anything that would actually hurt you in the room but i'm definitely seeing lots of restraints and it's like this um it's almost it's like bondage okay um and maybe maybe that turns you on scorp i don't know but as above and so below there's something that's toxic potentially toxic that you may be you may be turned on by that you seek out these situations where this toxicity actually turns you on um you might want to dig deep because this dungeon's underground uh where that actually stems from and why you would enjoy something that is psychologically binding or toxic in the reality of things like it's not divinely aligned it's mm -hmm. definitely something about your shadow that you enjoy something about the wounding that you enjoy something about being a prisoner that is comforting and 
it shouldn't necessarily be like that. I mean, to each his own, but it's just what I'm picking up on. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I'm being shown... It almost looks like Christ's tomb, where the big rock that was guarding or closing, sealing the entrance has rolled open. I'm literally watching it roll open, like crack open. And there's light coming from this crescent moon shaped opening because it's like the rock just started rolling away, but it's not, it hasn't completely opened it. It created like this crescent moon shape opening and there's light coming from it. You may be seriously going through an ascension, Sag. Becoming more in alignment with what is on the whole Christ consciousness. All right. You might be um, applying that kind of wisdom better to where you're going through an ascension. Stay focused on the highest light that there is. Remember that. At the end of the day, it's like, what would Christ do? Right? What would Christ do? Ask yourself that. When faced with adversity or challenge. If you, you were Christ, right? If, obviously you're not, but if you were Christ, what would Christ do? When faced with the challenge in front of you. Because if you think Christ would go get fucking plastered, drunk, and cuss somebody out, or blow up a phone, like, you'd be mistaken. You know what I mean? Like, Christ wouldn't do that. <laughs> so, um, let that be your mantra. What would Christ do? Capricorn. I'm seeing pebbles like being skipped, like stones being skipped across a lake surface. And I'm seeing the ripples as the stones get skipped across the surface. It's only a small rock. But when launched or projected the right way, it creates a beautiful ripple that expands across the entire lake's surface. A small little rock can make quite a beautiful rippling spectacle. When projected just the right way. So make sure you get a handle on that stone. A handle on what is solid, no matter how small. And project it out from yourself into the outer experience in just the right way. And I feel like the ripple that it creates will be quite beautiful to watch. Capricorn. All right, so Aquarius. Aquarius, I'm being shown cotton candy and a carnival, like a merry-go-round. I 
I think you're making yourself crazy going round and round in circles. Because I'm seeing someone on the on the merry-go-round, but they're 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 laughing and crying at the same time, almost as if they're losing their fucking mind. Like Aqua, like are you cracking, like cracking up literally, like? Aqua, it feels like you're, it feels like you are losing your mind. It looks as if you have completely fucking lost it with what I'm visually seeing. Like, you don't know whether to laugh or cry, and so both are happening. I feel like you feel crazy. Like, something broke the Aquarius. Yo, if you're watching this and you're not an Aqua and you got an Aqua friend, please reach out to your Aqua friend. Because I feel like they're losing it. Like, they're losing their grip on reality and their own humanity. Like, I feel like they've gone down some crazy carnival from hell, like, merry-go-round. And they're stuck on this merry-go-round cycle, and they're cracking, okay? They feel fucking insane. They feel fucking insane. They're going round and round in some crazy cycle. And they don't know what to do. Someone needs to grab them up off this fucking merry-go-round. And say, hey, like, hey, come back. Like, come back to reality. Like, yo. What, like, what are you doing? Like. Let's go grab your mind and put it back inside your head. I feel like they're completely fucking scrambled. Like, psychologically fucking scrambled. Shit. All right. Pisces. I was just shown a red rose, like, from Beauty and the Beast. But I'm being shown as if someone is handing the rose or offering the rose, Pisces. Someone is offering the rose. So if you think about Beauty and the Beast, that opening scene where the old woman, right, this hag, approaches the door to the prince and asks the prince for one night right just a place to stay to get out of get out of the cold and offers him a rose for the favor in exchange and he laughs at her and says no And she morphs into this powerful, beautiful enchantress and essentially leaves the rose as a reminder, right, that no matter how much wealth he has on the outside, no matter how attractive he is as a man, that he's ugly on the inside and he's turned into the beast until he finds the energy within himself that is truly beautiful, the energy within himself that is lovable, right? That the beast goes through this lesson. It took, what, 100 years? Like, Pisces... Someone is offering you a metaphoric rose. 
it might not look pretty on the outside. Metaphorically speaking, the situation or the past surrounding your dynamic with an individual, like whatever it is for you, Pisces, it might not look pretty. But they're offering you a rose in exchange for compassion. They're offering you a rose in exchange for compassion. I would extend the compassion so that you don't go down that story's tail because we all know the beast suffered it out in loneliness for years and his home fell into disarray and, you know, it was not a pleasant stretch of time. So, like, you can simply avoid that whole thing by embracing the rose and showing some compassion for what you deem as ugly whether they had ugly behavior or if it was something in your past if it's something you're going through now like spirits asking you to look at the rose that is or was being handed to you and to look at it with eyes of compassion and treat it with acts of compassion instead of Instead of ugliness, spiritual ugliness. All right. So, guys, I hope these little intuitive check ins help. I am going to attempt to go back to sleep. And um, I'm sure Spirit will keep you tuned in. See you later.